Hey, Philip Clark here at Wizard World LA. I'm here with Philip Victor, who's writer, publisher. What's up? I'm taking out my comic book today. Um, how you doing, Phil? I'm doing good. How's you, it you going? You Phil or Philip? Philip. Philip's good. Yeah. Cool, cool. Same here. Um, how's the show going for you? Very good. Very nice. Good. A little slow, but uh, I'm selling books. I yeah. got premiere this new book right here, The Supremes, superheroine team up that has to go into hell and stop demons from taking over Earth. I worked with the Francisco Placencia out of Mexico on this one. This is part one of a three-issue limited series. I got my other books out here. What else? What else do you do? Can you tell us a little bit about those as well? I sure can. This is Scarlet Fox, about a Hindu goddess that becomes immortal, and then when she grows up, she takes on the role of being an international secret agent. This one's illustrated by a famous artist out of Korea named Take Him. And it's a one-shot, one complete story within the issue. And then right here, I've got Soul Assassin, which is about a female police officer who's also a single mother in Los Angeles. In the line of duty, she regains power from a past life when she was once a mystical Chinese assassin. This one's illustrated by a Warner Brothers character designer, Philip, character designer Philip Barasa, and the uh, cover on this color version is done by Jim Mafu. And then right here, I've got my all-ages comic book, Jaguar Spirit, half man, half jaguar hero who travels through different dimensions battling demons uh, and monsters. In this issue, he's got to rescue his brother who gets kidnapped by this fog demon and he teams up with the shape-shifting sorceress to rescue him. This is actually my first bilingual comic book also. It's told in English one way, and then when you flip it over, it's also told in Spanish as well. Wow. Yeah. I get a lot of good feedback from uh, teachers and librarians on this book. This one's illustrated by a former graffiti artist out of Mexico City named Nuke Nine. How long have you been writing? Oh, well, I've been writing for uh, many years now, uh, but within the comic book industry oh, for about four years. Did you have any formal training in writing or study? Um, yeah, actually, I took a, a grammar and communication course called The Key to Life, and then um, in high school, I did a lot of creative writing. I went to a private high school where every month they required you to do a, a certain number of words of creative writing, and uh, that kind of like laid the foundation for me. Now, who would you say your creative influences are? Let's see, um, I would say uh, L. Ron Hubbard, I like his, his uh, fiction work, uh, as well as, um, let's see, God, there's so many. In the comic book field, Brian Michael Bendis, uh, Chris Claremont, those I think would be like my main influences. Your main guys? Yeah. Awesome. Now, um, comics isn't a, a hugely profitable medium. Uh, do you have a day gig or are you making money full time on, on comics? I have a day gig, yeah, but I would like to give that up. Money full time with comic books. Yeah. yeah. Now, what do you do during the day? Day gig is a medical billing and office management. Wow. So uh, that kind of works for me. The pay is okay, and then the schedule is kind of flexible so that I could do conventions like this and put together my books on my off time. Yeah. yeah. Now, comics is, isn't easy, especially as a writer. I mean, what what keeps you in it? Why why are you doing comics? I, I just like being creative, you know, and coming up with new characters and new stories, and incorporating sort of like historical mythology within my stories too. So I get a kick out of doing that and then working with the artist uh, to create these uh, characters and storylines it's, it's, it's a lot of fun and then coming to conventions like this and getting the public to see my work and uh, to appreciate it that kind of thing I think those are the reasons why I'm, I'm still in the game so to speak nice. well, what kind of advice would you give to an aspiring comic book creator writer how what would you any tips uh, I guess the tips is just uh, um, work on your own material uh, develop your own style um, come out with your own uh, books, you know, print them up at Kinko's if you have to, make little ash cans, or if you can come out with, you know, a regular standard size comic book, even better. Um, if you're a writer and an artist, that helps, um, but if you're just a writer like me, uh, you know, hook up with an artist, uh, go, go to a place like digitalwebbing.com to, 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 if you want to network with uh, artists, or come to places like this, you can go to like Artist Alley and whatnot, and network with people uh, to, to be a part of your book, uh, to, to get the project going, but, but I really uh, emphasize you just kind of putting something out there so people can kind of see your work and then even if you're not the best at first you can, you can certainly grow by, by working on material and putting material out there. Also submitting material to some of the bigger companies you never know you they might be doing. Nice. Yeah. And if people are wanting to find out a little bit more about uh, Philip Victor online where can they find you? Sure they can go to aerosolpress.com right now the uh, website's under construction but that's where I'll usually have all of my material and information about my new releases. Cool. Yeah. Thanks, Philip. Yeah, you're welcome.